Okay, what I've done so far is all of this in the fuel tank and on the other side, the same thing. And it it's looking really good. Really, really good. Really good. You can't see any smears in it. It reflects very well. Very, very well. And I'm gonna come up here. If I can get up here with one hand and show you the top. It also looks very well. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and do this and this. But I already did the opposite side. This is gonna be upside down, sorry. And that's how good it looks so far. And that is very good. So I'm gonna do one of these, probably the, we're both pretty bad, but I'm gonna do this side first. No, I'm actually gonna do the, this side first. And then I'm gonna finish all that. And I'm gonna compare it to the side. And you're gonna see how much better Flitz looks. For real, for real. Ugh, I can't move. But, yep, that's a quick update. And yeah, I'm gonna show you this flitzed and this not. Let's do it.
Okay, here's what the beautiful new fender looks like. Let's get up here and uh, show you guys. So this is the difference. Three coats of fillets will make it look like this. And I just saw something that I need to wipe out a little bit more. Ah, can't get it out of the hole. But yep, this is what it looks like. And if we zoom over here, this is what it looks like if we have nothing. And that right there is, I set all my tools over here. So that's some of the polish, but yeah. Zero coats of flits, three coats of flits. Zero, three. Oh my goodness, it looks so much better. So, so much better. Ooh, okay, let's get the rest of this done. So what I'm gonna do is the insides and that. I already did the outside of that one. I'm gonna get everything down here, done under the steering wheel, and then, oh boy, what was I gonna do after that? I think I'm done. I think I'm done done then. I can't think of anything else to do. Everything on the back would be just not really worth it, but still maybe worth it, but I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that down there because I gotta take off the PTO housing and get all that stuff situated and figure out what I broke on that, or not, not what I broke, someone else broke. I think it's the pin down here that's broke, but yeah. We'll finish the Fenders, I guess. Let's do that. shiny new fenders are up and looking awesome so on off camera I'm gonna wipe all the back down with a grease remover with just with a cloth and then probably inside I mean on the back side of the lights and stuff cloth grease remover I did the lights both sides and I'm just gonna show you guys what this thing looks like now that was a little bit confusing, but yeah, I'm gonna just wipe this off. I already did the lights on both sides of the fenders, but yeah. So there's some stuff I'm gonna do off camera. For instance, like uh, do the rims of the wheels and so, uh, stuff like that. But now I'm gonna compare, if you can tell a difference now, I did not do the left side, I did the right side of the dash or whatever you want to call it right here. And the right side is way looking better. I gotta wipe it off just a little bit. There's some uh, fingerprints on it. 
but the right side looks so much better. Oh my goodness. Just look at that. Now you come over here. Oops, I can't get under here. Hold on a second. Whoops, I ended the video in the process. But it just, this, so many little minor details, like all this just faded away. And over here, it's not faded anymore. I got the fade back and it just looks so much better. Again, that's what the left side looks like. And this is what the right side looks like. Way better, way better. You can't even, oh my goodness, it just looks so good. But yep, I did the fenders today. And so, I'm gonna do that off camera. That down there off camera. Uh, grease remove everything I can off camera that I haven't done. Um, get the rims off camera. I feel like I've said that like 10 times in a row now, but yep, that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, looks pretty awesome. I'm hoping uh, this weekend, if it works out and the price is right, go to a salvage supply tract area and get a new pipe up there manifold and intake manifold and spring and blah 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 and then a rear light so i took apart the rear light and the red bulb is shot so i need to find a new one of those there's 40 dollars on ebay but i'm gonna talk to the tractor salvage dude and see if i can get one for cheaper but yeah this is kind of a long video but this is what it's kind of all about getting this tractor better but yeah, uh, if you hope to, if you liked the video, well, give it a like, and see you guys next time.